here is the Corvus OS based on Android version 12. The security patch level we get to see here is the 5th June 2022 and the kernel here is as usual the Redcliffe kernel. So yeah, it's so overall the performance on this ROM is just great. This is the settings page and these are all the Corvus OS customizations available. Here is the quick look to the home screen UI and it's just the same as the stock Android just the same as you get on the pixel one now going to the settings in the system these are the options and in the gestures we get to see the quickly open camera with the double tap the navigation customizations and we can customize the pill length from here and the ime button space and everything so these are some options in the system navigation the three finger swipe for the screenshot option the one-handed mode just works perfectly fine no issues the n enable advanced reboot option we get to see here in the gestures option so yeah now moving back these are the other settings options going forward to the security these are the options and the face unlock everything here is working fine the app lock here is also available and which is also working perfectly fine so no issues and uh, going to the wallpaper and style these are the options and the themed icons here is now fixed in the corvus os previously we get to see the themed icons also in the app drawer but now it's just to the home screen and in the supported app icons so the previously the there was a bug and which has now been fixed going to the display options these are the option and the extra dim option here is available which was already on which is pretty useful in the dark scenarios like when you use the phone in the pitch dark mode in the night so yeah the extra dim option here is pretty useful in this kind of situation the dark theme override force dark which is a really good option the night light option is available which works perfectly fine no issues the night light as you can see here no issues with the night light it is working perfectly fine double tap to wake double tap to sleep everything works fine and the device specific settings we get to see the pill style notch and if we turn off this is how it looks as you can see the two punch holes but it just not looks great and the minimum refresh rate you can change here as you can see 60 90 and 120 options are available which are working fine the battery options the battery backup on this room here is good as you can see the usage 97% to 47% I got 2 hours and 39 minutes of screen on time which is a pretty good battery backup and from 100% to 39% is 1 hour 54 minutes which is not that great because I was running some meetings and all the cameras and the microphone everything was on at that time so in this, those kinds of situations when you are attending some meetings and using camera and microphone at the same time then the battery backup will be not that good but overall it's an average battery backup no issues and the battery charging time to charge from 36 percent to 97 percent it took only 46 minutes so yes the battery charging time here is really good and the battery backup here is just average moving forward to the customizations these are the corvus settings available the game space here is available and as i as you can see i have added the bgmi mobile here game space here is available theming options these are the options available the monet color so yes and in the theming we can set the signal icon style the wi-fi icon style icon shape so these are some options available here in the theming and you can also change the font whatever the fonts you like you can change it from here moving back in the status bar these are just the same options new nothing new here in the lock screen these are the lock screen styles and i'm currently using the clockertino one and this is how the lock screen looks this is the default one we get to see the oxygen os one the oos and this is how it looks it's just not that great but it, these are some few options available the pulse here is available which is also i just don't like it so i have turned it off moving back in the battery style customization we get to see the charging animation estimates and everything which is just the usual stuff available in all the other custom roms now moving back these are the options the notification customizations moving back the hardware and the buttons and nav bar the volume rocker wave music control reorient and everything these are some few options available 
and in the miscellaneous these are the options unlimited photo storage and unlock higher fps in games the higher fps in games here is working and in the bgmi we get to see the 90 fps option available i'll just show it to you so as you can see the game has started and here in these settings as i'll show you as you can see, I have set the gameplay to smooth and 90 FPS and let's see how much FPS we get to see here. And here is the game mode. This is, okay, as you can see this option. And here in the settings, we can we get to see the game space. We get to see the several modes, the mode, performance mode, battery mode, standard mode. Let's just play on the performance mode. We get to see the FPS info, the logs, gestures stay awake and the heads up so these are the few options available in the game space we also get to see the free ram the device temperature battery so these the game space here is available if you want to record the gameplay then here is the option and screenshot option here is also available the game has started and i have set the fps to 90 fps and we are getting 85 to 90 fps in the gameplay as you can see so let's just play a bit of game and we are easily getting the 90 fps in the snapdragon 730g phone so yes the gameplay will be awesome in the device so you can play as this is as you know the corvus is known for gaming so the gameplay on this room here is really good so it's not just the gimmick we are really getting the 90 fps on this phone the poco x2 it's just the custom ROM, it's the optimizations done on this ROM. So yeah, the 90 FPS here is working perfectly fine. Now moving forward to another settings, these were the options and overall performance also on this ROM here is really great. I'll show you the Geekbench scores. The scores are also impressive on this ROM. The 529 and 1688 are the scores, With the scores are really impressive and Overall performance on this room here is also great. We've just shown you the gaming performance, it's just great. And overall, the day to day usage performance here is also very good. And talking about the safety net status, the safety net status has passed, and all the banking apps are running perfectly fine. So, no issues with the banking apps, also. And again, in the DRM info, we get to see the Wide One L1 certification, so no issues in that, also. And 120 hertz, all the refresh rate are supported on this phone in this room so yes i just really like this room or the overall optimizations and the customizations are really great on this room everything just works fluid and fine the room here is fast the animations are fast and it's smooth there are no lags or stutters every time it's just great and with the carrier also no issues the geo is working perfectly fine here talking about the bugs so far i haven't faced any bugs the room here is running perfectly fine for me the finger and scanner face unlock everything here is working fine no issues there are some missing features like the android 12 features which we used to get in the stock android here we get to see the corvus os launcher the different launcher we get to see so here we cannot select the text the google lens used to work here in the recent but it's just not working here and talking about the camera here we get to see the anx cam available here which is working perfectly fine no issues also the google camera here is working fine no issues with that. so yeah this was it for now if you enjoyed this video don't forget with the like button if you are new to this channel then please guys subscribe to the channel if you have any questions then you can ask me in the comment section below or in the telegram group i'll meet you in the next one till then stay safe have fun and bye